let's do it. Let's do this one. And then we can see the uh the dolphins. <laughs> we'll do the bucks again. Cuz I Oh, all right. Oh, wait. Got a Hmm. I think that's fine. Sure. And that's pretty fine too. Sure. <laughs> oh, yes, we get to check out their uh their court. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I love this team that I made. And um, it is it is fun. And uh <laughs> I am while it loads, I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be right back. Okay. Five seconds. So I hope everybody's enjoying the games. Any of y'all have feedback, just let us know in the Discord, which I think is always being shared by Nightbot. Come join the Discord. It's fun. Gonna be doing a whole heck of a lot more stuff through it, so. All right, I'm back. Look at this. Okay. We got Aaron Holiday, Bryn Forbes, some other people. I don't know who's on this team. Let's oh go. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> what? Look at how bright that court is. Welcome to the ocean. I, you can't even tell what's a three. <laughs> yes, you can. You need a, like a white line there. There is another colored line. Is there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so bright I can't even tell. There are two different kinds of blues, and they aren't... All of the lines are done in one one color blue, and then, then the lighter blue, you know? <laughs> okay. You can see if you look carefully. Okay. Or maybe... Ooh, look at that block by Smith. <laughs> oh, he said, give me that. Wilson puts it up, and it's good. Buckster on the board. Two to nothing. Give me that. Oh, yeah, they have Aaron Holiday. It's a shame Drew Holiday isn't on the Bucks yet. Right. Because <laughs> then it could be brother against brother again. That was fun. It could be. It could have been. Ooh, the dunk by Barrett. R.J. Barrett from Duke. Yeah, is he good? He's pretty good. He's a is Nick he... right now, so. Oh, is he, he one be... of the? Uh, is he one of the Duke, the big three from Duke? Yes. Because isn't it him, uh, Reddish? I want to say. Cam Reddish and Zion. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Which I really hope they don't get rid of Zion, but, you know. Eh. But, yeah, here we are. We got the Dolphins against the Bucks, and the Bucks are going to kill it. Because the Dolphins aren't a great team. Right. Well, they're, they're all right. They're a very mediocre team. They're all right. They're, they're mid-range. Barely. Yeah, they just moved their way up to uh, the middle rankings in the conference. Um, ooh, that was a very out of bounds from, uh, O'Neal? Yep. All Barrett right. O'Neal, I believe his name is. All right. Byron O'Neal, sorry. <laughs> I know you've got the st your little stat book and stuff, so. Yes. <laughs> Byron O'Neal. How I good is even, he? It, they said he went to Kentucky, but I don't remember him. Really? I don't know if he exists. Huh. All right. Hey, Jason Smith made that one? Hey. <laughs> oh, they have uh, their numbers on their shorts. <laughs> he does not exist. He doesn't? No. Byron O'Neill's not real? Nope. 
Huh. Rest in peace, Byron. Oh, Aw. Who took a timeout already? Uh, Honolulu? I think so. I think Honolulu oh, yeah. took a oh, yeah. timeout. Yeah, Dolphin, yeah, Dolphin's timeout. Yep, they got their timeout already. And look at that stadium, everybody, in beautiful Honolulu, where nobody really wanted a basketball team. Beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii. Actually, no, I think this was the one that, this is the team that had the most interest when, uh, when <laughs> I, uh, when I went in with the expansion teams. The one yeah. with the least was, uh, the one with the least, I think, was Anchorage. Okay. Yeah. Nobody think... wanted to be there? The least interest, you know. But no, who would want to be in Anchorage, right? Right, I mean, it's super cold. It's really cold, there's not a lot there. It's kind of I mean, remote. I'm sure it's beautiful, but you know. I imagine Holy it shit. is. Aaron Holiday's last five games, he's averaging 35.2 points a game. Yes, but he is a demon. Yes, but it doesn't matter. Because yes. he's still doing that. That is still a lot. I think they said earlier, uh, uh, DeAndre Hunter, I think his name is. Yeah. Right? He yep. uh, he had a po a game where he scored 45.2 points. Holy cow. Or he had a game where he scored 45 points, not 45.2. That's a lot point of two. points. That's a lot of points. Yeah. They lost the game, by the way. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. And Giannis puts it back up. Hopefully they can have a better a better game. Uh, he can have a better game than he did in the last one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is so blinding. Yes. <laughs> I made this court this way. <clears throat> this is what happens when you make me a god. I make things bright and colorful and pretty. Yes. The way God intended. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's so bright. It makes the Bucks jerseys look black. <laughs> oh, it is so bright. I mean, they even blend in with the court, the, 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 the jerseys. <laughs> yeah, they do. It's amazing. I feel like if, if they wanted to do this to a court, there would be some kind of, like, there would be some kind of violation. <laughs> oh, it, it, I don't think it would be allowed. They'd be like, no, you can't do that if you want to be on national TV. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That court is so bright, it's going to give people seizures. <laughs> yep. Look at him go. Look at Davis. Mike, tell us more about Davis. He's really tall. Davis? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Deontay Davis. Uh, he's, he came from Michigan State. Did he? Yeah. Ah. Yep. yep. Yeah, he was actually really good. He was a big body, obviously, for Michigan State, since he's obviously a big seven-footer. Mm. Um, you know, I think, obviously, you know, the, somebody that big who goes to Michigan State, yeah. you, know, they're, you know, teams obviously hone in on him, you know, saying, oh, he may be good, and he's been okay. Right. You know, he was a second-round draft pick, you know, so obviously he was in a first-round grade, so you can always take a gamble you know, on those type of players, but... Right. You know, you know look at Nikola Jokic for um, the Denver, Denver Nuggets. He just won MVP. And he was a mid-second round draft pick, and I mean, sometimes you can hit the lottery with those guys. Yeah. But... I mean, it can happen. Byron right. O'Neal, right? Yep. He's who a demon. Who doesn't exist. Yeah. Look at Barrett go. All that oh, athleticism. Brogdon, Brogdon missing the easy three there. Yeah. Davis making the drive. Never mind. Holiday. <laughs> Aaron Holiday, brother of Drew and Justin. 
Yep. All of who are demons. Yes. We like the demon holidays. <laughs> well, Drew the Holiday Bucks, is the my Bucks favorite in real player. life are maybe looking to trade for Justin Holiday. Really? Yes. I know uh, it looked like he was doing pretty well with... He was. He was he's doing very well with Indiana. Yeah, he's doing really yep. well with the Pacers right now. So I, I think uh, both holidays on one team... Uh... <laughs> Put all three of them on there. Why not? <laughs> Giannis has his brother on there, so why not? That's true. Yep. It's just a team of brothers. Yep. That'd be nice. <laughs> we should probably <laughs> demonize Costas, huh? <laughs> Good. The Bucks took a timeout. Yeah. I mean, you know, got to every once in a while. <laughs> right. Give them a break from their slaughter. <laughs> My God. Right. It's like a fucking nightmare out there. Well, it's, all, it's 14 to 12. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's close. Well, we'll see. Yeah. I don't think it'll last. <laughs> nope. That's just a thing that happens. They got their little Gatorades, and we got the Beats, uh, New Era. Originally, uh, in the <laughs> Thank original... Thank you for covering this. Thank you. In the original version of... Uh, in the original version of this stadium that I had, this stadium was actually brought to you by Shonen Jump and Dragon Ball Super. Uh, <laughs> but we're not allowed to do that anymore. Because nope. the servers got taken down. Yeah. So now it's brought to you by Spalding and some other shit. Right. I mean, there used to be some explicit things on there, too. We never had no. anything explicit on nope. there. Nope. They just had it as an option. <laughs> right. I didn't say that we did. I just said that. I don't know, think we was. do need the newest game. <laughs> No. I got this one for free, and I'm pretty happy with that price. I paid 30 bucks for mine. Yeah, didn't it's you pay th 30 bucks for it, like, a week before it went before it went uh, up for free? No, it, was on... a it was a couple months. Yeah. Yeah, it was a couple months. It's a fun game. You can't tell what Out yeah. of Bounds is on this court, and that's no, what's you, really you fun can't. about it. Is, uh... Like, you could just be like, I wasn't out of bounds, and the refs might be, hmm, fair point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we may have to go to review. Maybe. We'll see. Because we, we enjoy this one a lot. This is where we've got all of our demons and stuff now. Right. And, like, I'm really comfortable with the roster on this one. Yeah. I mean, all these all these new games are just updated rosters. That's pretty much what it is. I mean, it would be one like thing if we were. It would be one thing if we were playing online or and stuff right. like that. But uh, like we aren't. This is pretty much what we do with these games. I mean, there isn't much oh, to it. I mean, the we're three just playing the league. Animist. Yeah, we just play in the league, and that, that we doesn't. Edit. That doesn't change. No. I mean, because there's the same guys. Yeah. I mean, they're added rosters, but I mean, that's they, all they are, are added rosters. Uh, the 2K21, the the only real change in it, wasn't it uh, that the only thing they changed was the draft roster? Yeah, because the draft wasn't released yet when the game was released. Right. <laughs> But I mean, I mean, 2K, it is different from Madden, though. Right. Because they do add, you know, more, it's more flowing. You right. get more moves from a particular player. You know, it isn't like Madden where you just get the updated rosters. I shouldn't right. say that about 2K because it isn't. <laughs> I mean, nothing's like You're Madden right. that you literally just get uh, the same product 
year after year after year, and you're just updating a roster. Yeah, Madden is kind of shit. Um, I mean, that's all it does. That being said, I've never paid. Uh, I've never bought one of these games like new. Right. I think I've all the most I've ever spent on one of these was. Uh, oh, I I paid uh, twenty dollars to get the rugby one. Oh yeah, yeah, you got that at GameStop though, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I got that like right when it came out. So I bought that one new. Right. But they only and released it was only those $20 like $20 new? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. It was on sale, nobody really wanted it. Right. And I understand why. I mean, it is a yeah. little limited. All right, and Aaron Holiday. I think the the Dolphins just called their timeout. They did. Yeah. Everybody, look at the children dance. Do 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 doom 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 doom. Man, what a bizarre game. <laughs> Watch out, everybody! Those kids will dab on you. <laughs> Who those kids? I mean, I, I mean, I mean, I'm not gonna say fuck those kids because I, no, 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 <laughs> no. Nope. Yeah, don't, don't, no, nope. <laughs> not gonna happen. This is brought to you by Tissot. Ooh. I don't... I don't know. It's just a thing that's being advertised in the background. <laughs> it's hot. It's the best thing about this game is it's like uh, it's like being advertised at, but like it's like an ad, but it's just the game. <laughs> right. All right. Holiday to Forbes. Forbes is really using that shot clock. Former Milwaukee Buck. Holiday. Oh, and it's a miss. All right, well, Livingston. Bucks, who won a championship with him? Who? Uh, Brent Forbes. Really? Yep. Livingston with the three, and he sinks it. They're on a Shot. nine and zero oh run for the last three minutes. Nice, bury him, bury. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to be. If the Dol if the Dolphins want to make a comeback, they really need to start pulling some points right here. They do. Aaron Holiday not looking himself today, averaging right. 35 points in the last th five games. <laughs> Mike, what was that? Uh. That saying what? just then. I was trying what to figure out the uh, little stat at the bottom. The RGA. RGA? Yeah? Um, <laughs> RGA. Or maybe it was RBA? I, could, I couldn't really tell. Well, I know there's a RB, RBP. Oh, so that could be, I know what that is, that could be rebounds per game. RPG. Maybe? But then that would mean that the Bucks are averaging over 53 rebounds a game, and I don't think that's correct. That's got to be, that's got to be close. You think? Oh, yeah. And then it said first in that the or, NBA. That, that or more. <laughs> that or more. I think it was 53.4. Well, let's just say that's usually, rebounds per game. Usually, de yeah, I mean, usually with defensive rebounds, it's it's probably close to 55. They're really shutting Aaron Holiday down. He's 4 for 12 with 9 points on the night. Good. <laughs> <laughs> just unapologetic Bucks fan. Barrett, he's got it going down, and he still misses it. Wide open. Barrett. What defense by Dante DiVincenzo there, though. Yeah. Byron O'Neal making the drive. 
And uh, he stops the drive. To Holiday. Oh, they're just going to be pushing it around since the end of the quarter. Uh, well, they shouldn't. Their shot clock's shorter than the time. Yep. Come on, Barrett. Shoot that shit. O'Neal with the jumper, and it's good. Giannis driving it in. That was some Is he going to make that shot? Terrible help side defense by Timothy Mozgov Giannis there. makes the three, and it's bad. <laughs> and it's bad. <laughs> Look at that. It's that block by Smith, though, guys. Everybody, come on. God. Why are they showing a Mozgov celebration? He did nothing in that quarter. <laughs> I mean, he played. He did. He did. Yeah. He didn't do much, but he played. He did play. All right, we got DJ Wilson taking it down. All right, looks like we got Aaron Holiday, B Forbes, uh, some other people. It was very fast. <laughs> Brent Forbes, <laughs> Davis with the uh, rebound, and Deontay Davis. Byron O'Neill is to Holiday, then to Davis again, and then back to Holiday. Just swinging it around. And it's to Wilson. Wilson with a steal. And Sean Livingston with the layup, and he misses. O'Neal gets the uh, the rebound. All right. Barrett makes the drive in, and it's a miss. Snell with the rebound. Tony Snell. Tony Snell. Go check out his Instagram, I guess. It's pr Twitter. apparently great. Whatever. Yep, Tony Snell very, Twitter. It's very good. <laughs> Another Twitter that's apparently very good right now is uh, the Devin Booker Twitter. Okay. Him and uh, the Raptor have... Uh, have I, I don't know if it's still this way, but uh, they were... Him and that Raptor were fighting... Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, with the free throw stuff, yes. Yeah, and uh, after that game, the uh, the Devin Booker Twitter account changed their their uh, their profile picture to a picture of the Toronto Raptor. <laughs> yes. And then the Toronto Raptor changed theirs to a picture of Devin Booker. <laughs> yes. Classic. Great shit. Classic. Yes, and uh, if you have not seen that video, that is Devin Booker getting angry at a Toronto Raptor mascot and then getting the mascot removed from the game. <laughs> yes. <Just> classic. <laughs> because one mascot in a completely empty stadium is... Super distracting and unfair. It is. It's terribly distracting. <laughs> this is a terribly very close game compared to the last one. Ooh, <laughs> even Chenzo with that three. But there hasn't been a point at all where uh, the Dolphins were winning this. Right. Like, it has not looked close at any point, really. Not, not at all. It is a very beautiful court, though. <laughs> <laughs> I call it the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> the ocean. Welcome to the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Or something, I don't know. I never named it. I don't think. No? I don't know. Maybe right. I did. I don't remember. All right. It probably would have said at the beginning, so. Right. 
I like how when they came out, the the uh, the PA system just said dance team. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Just dance team. Dance team. <laughs> Everybody dance if you want to. Leave your friends behind. <laughs> All right, back in the game. We got Davis. Davis, shoot that three. Holiday, don't shoot that three. You can't make that don't three. Don't do it. Don't do it. Woo! Well, that was a reach-in. All right. He hands it in to David, to Holiday, and uh, Holiday puts it up, but uh, Sean Livingston gets the shooting foul on him. Jeez. Yeah, Livingston, what the fuck are you doing? Jeez. So Aaron Holiday is going to get two shots. <clears throat> Hope everyone's liking those colors. Yeah. Hopefully they're not too blinding. <laughs> Just remember there are settings for things. Um, I purposefully <laughs> made it as bright and glossy as I could. Uh, I really wanted you to be able to see everything that's happening in the court. That was really yes. important to me. Um <sighs> <laughs> Ah, yes. State Farm Arena. <laughs> State Farm Arena. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is blinded by the court. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And really, the whole reason for that is so the players can look into the court and they can see if anyone's behind them trying to sneak up on them. <laughs> Livingston yep. makes the basket. <laughs> Oh, that's not a great field duel percentage. They're struggling a little bit with this Dolphins defense, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, they're not doing as hot as I thought they would. 43%. Not what you'd expect from this team. Nope. And don't get me wrong, they're going to kick the shit out of them, but like... Right. I mean, that's <laughs> obvious. The opposing team has taken stealth archer perks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what does that mean? Stealth archer. It's like a... It's basically, it's a Skyrim thing. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Oh, that jam by Snell. Tony. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> he also does play now for the Port Portland Trailblazers. For the who? Portland Trailblazers. Who, Snell? Yes. Oh, well, then I have to hate him because I'm a Pelicans fan. That's <laughs> how that works. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no hate, no hate. No. I I would consider the the Trailblazers like a lesser rival, but it's mostly like the Rockets. Right. And we don't have to worry about them because they're not an actual team this year. <laughs> they're going right. to get kicked out of the NBA. They're so bad. I hope so. I think their record is worse than Detroit's right now. That isn't saying much. It's saying a lot, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't say much about Detroit. Says a lot about about Houston. <laughs> right. I mean, I mean the Rockets, but I mean they they just have really nothing. They, they got they a not? lot of young players, but. Well, sometimes you just got to take those young... You just got to try and raise up a bunch of people on your own. Right. And, like, most of those people are going to get really frustrated with that and leave, but, you know... Right. Right. Ooh. Check out that shot. Ooh, what a shot. They're only down by 13 now. Oh, oh, oh DiVincenzo boy. has the ball. Snell. DJ Wilson. And he makes it. 
Oh, good runner he's, off the board. He's three and six on the day. Yeah, he's not shooting too bad. He's at 50. So I guess it's, I mean, it's better than, uh, who was that in the last game that only made like three of their 10 shots? That was uh, six for 19 for um, uh, Ricky Rubio. Yeah. Yep. He had a good game though. Yeah. Not bad. I think he had their second highest. Well, I mean, I think they all might have had a bad game. They lost by like 70 points, but you know. Right. Ah, uh, to Holiday. Again, Holiday Aaron. is a beast. Ooh, that three. By Barrett, I want to say. Yeah, RJ. Yeah, RJ Barrett. I think that was Bryn Forbes, though. Was it? <laughs> I think so, because they showed Bryn Forbes. Oh, well... I could have been wrong. I'm not very familiar with this team. <laughs> right. I'm a very bad commentator. <laughs> Welcome to the worst show on the internet. The worst produced show on the internet. <laughs> Naturally, we would be some of the worst commentators on the internet. <laughs> yeah, so obviously. I think we know just enough to be interesting and just little enough to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, we could be more hardcore, like saying this fucking guy with the ball really sucks. But... Oh, that fucking guy! Well, is that not what we did to Julia Loca for the whole I mean, last we game? Did. We did, we did, <laughs> we totally did. <laughs> that isn't saying much, Cino. And Snell that charges <laughs> that guy, and uh, that's a dunk. Goal! <laughs> <laughs> Goal! <laughs> oh boy, we are in deep trouble. Byron O'Neill to Holiday. Aaron Holiday, he's Drew Holiday's brother. Yep. Also, Justin Holiday's brother. Yep. However, Drew Holiday and Justin Holiday are not brothers. They aren't? No, they are, but. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? See, uh, and APG. And what is APG? Assists per game. Okay. 39.9 of those per game. Oh, that's good. That that means that we're sharing the rock. We're sharing <laughs> that rock. Yeah, throwing that shit around. Oh, DiVincenzo gets that offensive rebound, and now he gets an and one because Forbes is an asshole. Oh, Brent Forbes. Uh, Forbes fucked it up for everyone. That's that's all of his teammates being angry at him. I hope you enjoy Denver. <laughs> well, right now he's enjoying Honolulu. Yeah. Which actually is probably pretty nice, honestly. Right. That's why there are so many people. Who, my favorite uh, comment I've seen on any of these was, I can't wait to get out of Honolulu. And I was like, huh, that's interesting. Right. Hear, don't hear many people say that. Right. Oh, and Forbes is looking tired out there right now. They're going to have to get someone in there for him soon. Aaron Holiday's looking fresh, though. Yep. Oh my god, all of these guys are exhausted. Oh, that's Holiday not good. puts it up and it's a miss. He's tired. Holiday's not. I don't think. Oh, you know he's oh, just exhausted. The block by O'Neal. Oh, what a block. God damn. What a block. Now, R.J. Barrett comes in like a wrecking ball and misses. Ani Dekumbo has the rebound. Giannis. Bledsoe puts up the three, and he makes it. Oh, it's not a three. Never mind. They've got a 48% while the Dolphins are shooting at 31. And this game is well, not, as, not as far apart as would be expected of a 
game played between these two teams. Right. Yeah. But will it continue to get worse? Yes. Well, of course. Oh, and Davis fouls Bledsoe for the end one. Oof. Ugh. Oof. We also like as answering people's questions, so that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Like, if anyone's like, what is an and one, we'll be like, yeah, an and one is when uh, when you make the basket while you're being fouled, and then you get one shot to add one to it. Right. Yeah, it's, it, it, it's what they all... <laughs> That's what they call a Look old at fashioned three point play. Oh, a bunch of hundred percents on the free throws this game. Yep. Not a missed yeah, because shot. When, because when the NBA was originally created, the uh, three point line did not exist. Really? No. Huh. It didn't exist until the ABA created the three point line. Really? Yes. Huh. And so, basically, a lot of the stuff that you see today, in terms of, like, really good shooting, yeah, all came from the ABA. The American Basketball Association? Yes. Ah, and then that and probably sh- merged and they with the kept NBA, the, right? that really cool ball. Did they have a cool ball? Yes. You ever see that, that white uh, ball with, like, blue coloring? Maybe. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a classic-looking ball. I'll send it to you later. Huh. I'll actually post it. I'll, I'll post it in the Discord. Oh, yeah, post it to the Discord. Yep. Show us what the ABA's ball looked like. Oh, it was the best. The ABA was more like... I always um, assimilate the ABA to, like, the Harlem Globetrotters. Oh, all right. Because they were really, really, really good players. All right. That were actually paid more than the NBA. Really? Yes. That's not that's not usually what you see with those kind of smaller leagues. Right, but that way back when, I mean, that was Well, when was that? Oh, that was in the 70s. The 60s and, a, and 70s was ABA. That's about with the uh I think the the AHL or whatever it was called. Yep. When they when they started uh when they started paying people just obscene amounts of fucking money to come right. over to the AHL. Right. Just poaching the shit out of players. Right. Yeah. That's kind of what it reminds me of. And I assume then the NBA bought out the ABA? Well, the ABA kind of folded, I mean, and obviously the NBA was getting a lot better players. and. Yeah. You know, it just, it, it really couldn't compete. Hmm. Well, that makes sense, I guess. Right. All right. Aaron Holiday. The least loved son of three. Hits to the three. All right. We're at halftime, everybody. Halftime. Woo! Doom, 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 (laughs) doom. All right, it's the halftime show. Will we get dead check? Dead check. We do. We have a dead check, everybody. Dead check, dead check. Oh, he's moving. Hang on. <laughs> we should dead, just <laughs> dead shag. I created a new um, channel in chat, and I put, yeah. I called it sports. <laughs> sports ball. Call it yep. sports ball. <laughs> okay. I'll change I think, the name. I think that'll work better. Okay. Because most of our sports people ball. are nerds, just like us. Yep. There, I just at, posted it in the Discord. 
Look at those field goal percentages. Everyone's shooting like shit tonight, and it's amazing. Right. I gotta admit, we are getting a lot of rebounds and a lot of assists. Yeah. All right. I think we should look at some stats. We will, and uh, uh, we will. So oh, where where are the people on the bikes? I think it's the shirt people this time. <laughs> <laughs> the shirt people. So the three pointers, everyone shooting pretty bleh across the board. We got the Bucks with fifty, the Dolphins with fifty six. Now right. the Bucks are shooting a very unrespectable forty nine percent, but the Honolulu Dolphins are shooting at thirty three. So you know, eh. right, right. <laughs> Now the real difference we're seeing here are bench points because the Bucks have 23, and the Do Dolphins don't have any. They ain't got None. no bench points. None. Now the points in the paint is another place where you can really see that difference. We're seeing a lot of outside shooting from the Dolphins. I felt like, and we're, eh, you know. Yeah. yeah. It is what it is, and uh, the Bucks are up by twenty nine, I think. Yeah, I mean they're they're kicking ass. <laughs> yeah, just as they kicking. Sh as they should. Probably. I mean, look at that little dolphin and this angry ass buck. All right, and let, right. we'll take a look at this box score going in. Yeah, Aaron Holiday with eighteen points right now. He's really uh, leading the entirety of the game at this point. He's yep. been, remember, in his last five games, he's averaging over 35 points. Right. <laughs> so we're actually I mean, his, seeing... His field goal percentage is absolutely abysmal, but he's putting is. up a lot of points. He's putting up a decent amount of points, but he's he's also getting fouled. He got fouled a few times, I think. Right. Um, and he is nailing those free throws. But, I mean, his numbers aren't great. He's 7 for 23 field goal. He's 2 I mean, for, is, two for 5 and 3s. Good. But he is on his way to beating out 35 points for right. this game right. at halftime. So maybe they should try and shut him down. But it doesn't really matter. It seems like, uh, actually, they've just been having the same people... Uh, play this whole game pretty much so far. Which is absolutely, they're going to be exhausted. Everyone was exhausted at the end. The, there are only right. two bench players who have subbed in at any Not point good. through this game. Meanwhile, the Bucks, uh, they got a lot of shit going on. Like, look at all these people scoring all these points and stuff. Uh, Bledsoe really needs to get his act together. He's shooting three for six. Also, uh, yep. Smith you should be doing better than four and seven. You're like eight. Much tall. better. <laughs> Giannis is four and ten, and he's one of the best players in the NBA. So I don't think that's yeah. acceptable. No, Divin it's not. Vincenzo again, top of the scoring board right there. Right. He's been having some games, and uh, Ilya Sova seems like he's having an off day. <clears throat> And I could have sworn we saw Tony Snell put up a three. But, you know. I don't know. Was that a three or was that a two? It was a two. I I might have thought it was a three. Right. You know. All right. All right. We got Bledsoe coming in. Taking point. And Giannis, make that drive in there and slam! Oh, oh, with the deke. Oh, oh my goodness, with a big uh, tomahawk. Yeah. <laughs> Mike's a little behind me. <laughs> I'm a little delayed. It's okay, though. Hey, it is what it is. Holiday puts yep. it up, and it's good. He's got 20 Holiday's on the night. Is now 8 for 24. <laughs> <laughs> is he really? Yeah. Giannis with the beautiful layup. Look at that hang time. 
He just glides. He he just walks on people's heads. He does. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> uh, he passes to Barrett, and Barrett tries to drive in, but uh, he's got to pass it back to Holiday because he's the only one on this team that can apparently score. Goes for the yep. three, misses. Smith recovers. Come on, Jason oh, Smith. Smith. Oh, Giannis with the jam again. He's dunking oh, all what, over what all a, of them. What a pass by Brogdon, a no-looker. Yeah. What a beast. Oh, that was a reach-in from Jason Smith. I don't know why you'd try and uh, steal the ball from someone four feet shorter than you, but, I mean, you just can't. Right. It's physics. Oh, Holiday makes that layup. Under some heavy blocks. He's at 22. Ten of those are in the paint. Oh, the alley-oop, and it misses. Can't miss shots like that, Giannis. Nope. You can't. I mean, it's fine here because, you know, you're killing them, but... Right. Ooh. Was that was that Aaron Holiday again? Yep. His average this season is 25.1, and I think he just beat out 25. Either that or is at 24. I can't remember. Is he? Nice. Yeah, he has scored every point for the Dolphins in the second half so far. Giannis with the jump shot. Nailing that basket. Oh, yes. Nice little nice little leaner. He's 8 for 15. Right. And, like, half of those were this, were in this half. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm I'm watching the game and then I got I got it on side profile. I got like split screen. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking at these amazing, and I mean amazing name of ABA teams. Do you want to hear any of them? Yes. Wait, what are they? They're ABA teams. That's what we were just talking about. Oh, the ABA. Yes. Yeah. yeah. American Basketball Association. Yeah. Um, it actually did merge with the NBA, by the way. Okay. Yeah, it merged. See, I thought it folded, and then the NBA kind of took it over. But oh, so, all right. Um, so these are the original teams that started off in the ABA. Um, the Anaheim Amigos. <laughs> the Amigos. The, the Dallas Chaparrales. What? The Houston Mavericks. I mean, the, it, that's the just Indiana Dallas. Pacers. <laughs> All right. Which is obviously a team now. Yeah. The Kansas City, and they didn't have a name. Just the Kansas City. <laughs> <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then they were obviously they they folded because they didn't have a name. Uh, so it's still it still in 1967. It was called the Denver Larks. Uh, I like it. And then it's not this terrible. was this was the big team that that never changed their name, the yeah. Kentucky Colonials. All right. I out think of, I re- uh, out of That's Louisville. been a team recently, hasn't it? No, no, no. No. Oh. No. No. Um this was uh the Minnesota Muskies, the New Orleans Buccaneers. Oh, that's a cool name. Right? Uh, why couldn't we have Buccaneers? Actually, I'm pretty happy with Pelicans, though. Right. But, the New York, but, but the... in between now and then, we had fucking Hornets. Come on. I know. Fucking I know. A. We could I have know. Buccaneers. I know. And then they got the New York Americans. <laughs> And then you got the Oakland Americans. Yes. Uh, dude, you will love this. The Pittsburgh 
Pipers. That's amazing. I love that team name. Oh, Bledsoe with the dunk! The Tomahawk! Oh, I, thought, I forgot we were still playing this game. <laughs> and and this was the final team that was um, that was allowed in in yeah. 1972. All right. The San Diego Conquistadors. That's that's a badass name, guys. And then in 1975, they I don't know changed if you their could... name. Yeah. To the San Diego Sales. That's pretty good. Yeah. It's not terrible. Yeah. But I, I don't know if you could name a team Conquistadors nowadays. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, so going back to the Oakland Americans. Yeah. It looks like they like to change up their name in the ABA. Okay. And so they, so they, went, so they changed their name to the Oakland Oaks. Oh, I like that. That's fun. And then the Washington Capitals. All right. And then finally... From 70 to 76, the Virginia Squires. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good I one. I love it, dude. That's awesome. <laughs> and here, here we go back to New Orleans. So this was from, so you still had the New Orleans Buccaneers from 67 to 70. Right. And then in 70, it was called the, we the Louisiana Buccaneers. All right. And then it looks like they were they moved to Memphis. Mm -hmm. And so some, from 70 to 72, it was the Memphis Pros. Oh, that's a terrible name. <laughs> that's a dumbass name. And then, and then from 72 to 74, it was the Memphis Tams. What? <laughs> I don't know. And then this was this is very familiar. From Ooh, 74 holiday. to 70, 75 is the Memphis South. Oh, all right. And then in 75 and then 70, must have been 76 when, when they folded, uh, they moved to Baltimore. And so they became Damn. the Baltimore, the, the Baltimore, <laughs> the Baltimore Hustlers. Hustlers? <laughs> yep. Yeah. And then their final name was the Baltimore Claws. Claws like C L A W S. Yes, yes. <laughs> Damn. Yep. And it looks like the Minnesota Muskies. Oh, that's a good moved... name. That's right? such a good name. Looks like they moved to Miami and then they became the Miami Floridians. That was that was my my college's mascot was the Muskies. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Nice. All right, what's another one here? There's another cool one. Um, there was a Houston Mavericks, I was saying. And All then right. in 69 to 74, they now, moved. Now, the Houston Mavericks, is that where the Dallas Mavericks came from? Uh, I don't know, because I think that's where the Houston Rockets came from. Okay. Yep. Yeah, because then, then they had the Carolina Cougars. And this oh, is that's... the same team. So the That's Houston Mavericks one. moved to Carolina. All right. And you will love this. Huh. Carolina moved to St. Louis. And the name of their team was the Spirits of St. Louis. I love it. That's great. <laughs> Dude. Name it after Why a don't... Nazi's plane. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> why did that league have to fold? What? Coming down to the last second on the shot clock there. <laughs> Had 30 <laughs> seconds to set up your shot, and it took you 30. Well, everyone's increased their uh, shooting percentage a little bit this yeah. this quarter. Yeah, they're, they're shooting pretty good. You got the Bucks are increased by five, and... Uh, the Dolphins have increased it by uh, one, so. Yep. No one's getting worse. Nope. Uh, In the 1967 season, John. Yeah? The New Orleans Buccaneers lost a seven-game series to the Pittsburgh Pipers. <laughs> and they were never in it again. That's a shame. Isn't it, though? 
Yeah. You know. Uh, it's a goddamn shame we lose good teams. Yep. Although, Louisiana just has trouble keeping teams. <laughs> right. Just in general, it's one of the reasons why I'm like, come on, please don't sell the Pelicans. <laughs> right. <laughs> We're such a shoestring team, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's fun because, like, I listen to a couple of the Locked On podcasts, and like, I listen to Locked On Bucks, and they've got like this big theme song that comes in, this background <laughs> stuff that's just like, that's just like the shot by Giannis. It's good, Bucks win, yeah, and like all this stuff, and like Pelicans. It just sounds like a dude in a basement who comes out, and he's just like. Hey guys, welcome to Locked On Pelicans. <laughs> <laughs> Some guy in his, uh, in his parents' basement. <laughs> Moskov gets both of them. <laughs> oh, Moskov is, is shooting free throws? Yeah. Oh, nice. I just posted a picture <laughs> of the uh, New Orleans Buccaneers um, um, nice. mascot. Logo, I should say, logo. That's awesome. Yep. Here, let's let's take a look at this, and not do what we're supposed to be fucking doing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Holiday shooting some some three some free throws right now. <laughs> yep. You know, nobody has voted in the council yet, and I don't know how I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to be starting. Oh, oh that is no. that is the best. That buck that New Orleans Buccaneers logo. Isn't that I love it. awesome? Yeah. <coughs> but yeah, nobody's voted. I don't I don't know what you guys are doing. How am I supposed to play Rome two if we don't know who we're supposed to play as? <laughs> <laughs> Why isn't anybody voted? You haven't even voted. <laughs> Oh. You're in there. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't even know any of these. I'll pick Athens. <laughs> Ooh, Snell puts it up. And you can vote for as many of them as you want, too. Huh. Yeah, I'll vote for Athens. All I'll right. Giannis. All right. Looks like Sino is just starting to vote right now. Is he? Yep. That's that's probably good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, if if uh if you guys want to vote for who we're going to play when we do Total War, you can just go and join uh our Discord where you go down to the council chat. It's awesome. <laughs> you can yeah, go down fun. there and vote. And uh, we'll see who we're going to play. We went through and did a whole game as Russia. We spent a hundred years fighting tooth and nail through the world as as the Russian Empire. Eventually, yep. the Russian Republic. Yeah, we did good too. Yeah, we won. Oh, the miss, missed. Who is that guy? Uh, S. Mikhailik? 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 Samantha Slav Mikhailuk. Yeah, that that seems right. That isn't him. That isn't him shooting a free throw. Oh, you're asking who's shooting the free throw. That's Barrett. <laughs> oh, that's Barrett. <laughs> Bar oh, that's R.J. Barrett. All right. Huh. All right. I, I promise I'm paying attention. I'm just looking at these amazing logos. <laughs> Dude, there were some cool logos back then. There were also some really fucking racist logos back then, right. though. Right. <laughs> Those weren't the cool ones. The cool ones no. are this awesome, like... Look at that, Aaron Holiday's at 29 points. He's at 9 from mid-range. Nice, good for him. Yeah. 
That dude's carrying this team. He scored over half of their points. <laughs> Literally. I don't know what the fuck Byron O'Neill's doing. God damn. What a block by Livingston. <laughs> oh, jump ball. Barrett and Barrett and uh Snell tie tie it up. All right. And the Dolphins win the jump. Barrett, he's fucking exhausted out there, and he's also cold. Yeah. <laughs> he's exhausted because he's played this whole game. <laughs> Is that what that snowflake means? Is like that's the opposite of when a player's on fire, right? Yes, he's freezing cold. Yeah. Yep. He's just so bad. Uh, shooting foul on O'Neal. Right. Hey, Ilyasova. Ursan, look at him. Ursan Ilyasova. The Turkish Thunder. Is that is that his name? Turkish yes. Thunder? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, everybody who's watching... Please join our Discord because I am posting all of the ABA logos in here. <laughs> um, everyone, and, just so you know, are they are they amazing? Yes, guys, we are only five uh, followers away from having fifty, yeah. and uh, then we'll be partnered. We'll qualify for partnership. So, well, I mean, verified. No partner or not partner, um, affiliate. Affiliate, Sorry. affiliate. That's uh, it. It's that's it. I'm, affiliate. I'm dumb. No, you're not. Barrett, you're ice cold. Yes, Sino, affiliate. No, we're gonna be a partner. Watch me. <laughs> we will. In time. Yeah, partner. You have to average seventy-five viewers per stream. Or was it 50? I think it's 75. And they're just going to hold it. Oh, so close. But no cigar. No the cigar. score is, fifth, is uh, Bucks are winning 99 to 47. Huh. <sighs> Ooh, here's the assist of a game by State Farm. It's from Giannis to Livingston. That was the assist of the game, everybody. That was it. Right there. It was there. pretty cool. It was. Usually they're kind of lame, but that one was cool. Oh, did we want to wanna do the stats thing? Yeah, yeah, throw them All up. All right. All right, guys, here's a team comparison. Uh, the D Bucks are just fucking dominating. <laughs> yeah. The the field it's a, goals are... It's an utter slaughter. I mean, Jesus, what am I even supposed to say? The Dolphins are sucking really bad. Like, they're, there's not much they can do to pull themselves out of this shit. <laughs> here's the box score. Uh, Aaron Holiday might make it past 35 points in this game. That'd be pretty cool. I mean, that is still a very bad free throw uh, field goal percentage. That is not good, yeah. He is shooting like one for three. Yes. And that's not great. He, <clears throat> his uh, three point is also bad. I don't understand how his points are this high, other than... I don't know. I think he just takes a ton of shots. Yep. Second place on their team is six points. Who's R.J. Barrett, and he's ice cold right now, or he was at least right. at the at the end of the quarter. Uh, how are the Bucks doing? We got Giannis with 19 in front, which is good. He had a cold game last game. Good for him. 
hopefully Smith can get a little bit more uh, more involved. Yeah. On the offensive front. Like to see that. Um, Bledsoe's doing better than he was last time. He's four and seven, which uh. uh DJ Wilson is having a pretty ice cold day though. He's got ten points and he's got a field he they've all been field goals and it's five and ten. Yeah, I mean he's kinda of having a very average game. But uh, I guess if fifty percent is average, it's average. Right. But I mean <laughs> he's also got four points. fouls. DJ Wilson <laughs> might be one of the most fouled players in the game. <laughs> he has to be. Or in the in the league. He we, has to be. This is the second time we've seen him with four fouls in a game. <laughs> right. And I think in that Pelicans game, DJ Wilson pulled five fouls. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Malcolm Brogdon just looking like shit out there. Yeah. Uh, Tony Snell, he's pretty good. Yeah. Four and four. Keep it up. Yeah. Livingston, he's he's good. What's uh what's this thing? Plus minus. Well that means basically um like your your impact <clears throat> in terms of the game. So you're basically like let's say with Sean Levinson with twenty seven. Yeah. He's basically helping out with twenty per seven twenty seven percent of the plays. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So really while DJ Wilson is not scoring very well and is not doing well, what we should be looking at is his two blocks yeah. and his three assists yep. and yeah. his three rebounds, most likely. Yep. But look at Jason Smith's 12 rebounds and three blocks. Right. Look at that. He's a fucking defensive monster. He's uh -huh. here and ready to kill people. Yep. He's a Timothy, beast. Timothy Mozgov with the steals, though. They're just turning it. They're just getting turnovers like crazy. Yep. Mm. He's having a very, very average game. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'll be right back before we start back up again. And, All right. Uh, you know, talk some more about the ABA stuff. That was cool. Oh, it's fun. I'll talk to Johnny when he gets back, but the history of the ABA is a very fun one because it brought um, it brought the funness out in basketball that the NBA was really kind of a more boring back in the 60s and 70s, even in the 50s with old man George Mikan and stuff like that. Um, George Mikan is widely considered one of the best players of all time and but anyways I digress I digress but um yeah it, it set more of a fun example for basketball that you can really have fun while playing you know a sport with a ball that you can toss around that isn't a football or a baseball you know it's it's one of the more widely accepted sports because you don't have to have money to play basketball. You know, that's why we have, you know, a minority population that dominates the sport because everybody can play it. But anyways, the ABA used to have that, you know, the fun passing and shooting, dunking, did you know that the ABA created the dunk competition, John? Did they? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they focused on like the like I was saying the Harlem Globetrotters type of stuff. Really? You know the the wild passing, the no lookers, and yeah. You know it was it was more of a scoring league. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So is that kind of uh, what inspired? The Harlem Globetrotters oh, League. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Is that even a league? I don't, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Well, no, sure. It, it's it's just a team. So it's just the Globetrotters and the Generals. Yes. And they go around and, like, do they both 
do they both do like really fancy stuff or is it them just wrecking the generals every time oh i mean it's usually just you know it's it's the good team against the bad team ah uh, all right the generals are the supposedly the bad guys are they and, uh, and obviously they're, they're not bad guys yeah but it's it's just you know that's all the entertainment right you know it's it's just the but the it's all supposed is, to just be wild the thing is with stuff. The Globetrotters, I mean, those dudes can actually play basketball. Right. They are fantastic. Yeah, I bet. I mean, you you just see what they can do, and they have to be, you know. Right. Right. Huh. And that doesn't mean that they can play in the NBA, which they can't. Right. You know, it's just it's just for show, and that's. You know, with a lot of the a lot of the players that migrated from the ABA, really didn't they didn't stand a chance because they, you know, it was more of a fun sport you know, right. compared to a competitive league. It was more of a fun league than a competitive right. league. Yeah, right. I get that. And that also, you know, it it drew people. Right. That's that's why they kind of moved. It. Obviously, as I said. You know, Ooh, how many different Demon cities. Demon with a three. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, no, you're doing your job. No, that was a wild three. <laughs> well, it was. <laughs> right? Um, yeah, I mean, it was It was more of a, you know, draw people and you know, try to make the money, but. Right. <laughs> and it was a kind of, you know, the NBA, it's. It's an old man's league, and <laughs> trying to get people to adapt to a new thing like a three-point line. Oh my God! Right. And you know, most people, you know, most basketball historians nowadays say that before the three-point line, you really can't even factor in stats. Yeah. I mean, you know, because some of the best shooters of all time. And Jerry West and Elgin Baylor, they didn't even have a three-point line, so... Right. You know, they their stats would have been... I mean, you think Michael Jordan had big stat lines. I mean, it would have been much, right. much higher. I mean, when... Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just the, 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 the stats are skewed that way. Right. Well, it's kind of like when uh, when you're like, oh, yeah, the highest grossing movie of all time is Gone with the Wind, and then you look at it, and Gone with the Wind was running in theaters for, like, 15 years or whatever. <laughs> right, right. And you're just like, oh, well, yeah. <laughs> right. And I, I, if I do believe right that... I don't even think blocks were counted before the seventies. Really? The mid the mid seventies. I don't. Jason think blocks... Smith just fouled Jackson. <laughs> Frank Jackson. Who is just... that? I don't know. You're the I knowing don't... people guy. I I don't I don't I don't think he exists. Look him up. All right. Look, there yeah, are but... two Jacksons right next to each other. Oh wait, oh. that one's Johnson. Never mind. Oh, he does exist. Does he? Frank Jackson? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Who's he play the for? First, the first picture that they have of the guy is in a Pelicans uniform. Really? <laughs> he does. Nice. According to this, he's still on the Pelicans today. Is he? Or no, no, sorry, he's on the he's on the Pistons. Oh. <laughs> he played at Duke. I don't even remember this dude. Good job, Mike. Huh. No, well, I, I, I really don't. Can't expect you to know every single person in the league. <laughs> wow. Huh. Yeah. Cool. Huh. Well, good luck, guy. Is he good? <laughs> I mean, not really. <laughs> I mean, if you're if you're a Detroit Piston, you're probably not good. <laughs> uh. <coughs> I mean, didn't they beat the Bucks? <laughs> they did. <laughs> they did. I remember when that used to mean something. Uh -huh. Oh, Trier. 
Trier just taking it out of the stadium. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> Alonzo, what are you doing? He's just leaving. He's done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what does that little three next to their name mean? That means that they're a good three-point shooter. Oh, okay. Yep. Huh. That's their specialty. So Trier's specialty is threes? Uh-huh. Huh. huh. Cool. Yep. And obviously the star means that they're a star. And yeah. Jackson's just Jackson. <laughs> Looks like Deontay Davis is cold. <laughs> Deontay Davis is cold. Uh, here comes Raymond. It's just cold out there, man. Like, look at the color. The color says it all. I mean, I don't even know what the temperature is. Oh! What is the temperature in hot? Ilyasova, wide open, just a fucking takeaway. Stolen by DiVincenzo and ran out there by Ilyasova. Why would it, why wouldn't Ilyasova just destroy that rim? <laughs> why wouldn't Ilyasova just eat Jackson? Eat him for lunch. <laughs> They're letting them hold that ball for way too long. Way too long. I wonder if I kick the difficulty level up on on this if they fight harder. I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know, but that was fantastic defense from Urzan. That was very good defense. Forcing the, Anthony. Forcing it out of bounds. And even though they're getting the ball back, still, they have to pass they it in with one second left. Yeah, the Bucks have a six foot four guy at, at shooting at small forward. That's a really? brilliant move. Is it? No, that's a terrible move. Well, it's small forward, so right. you want the shorter guy, right? But usually, like a six seven, six eight type dude. Why? <laughs> but it's a know. small forward. Right. <laughs> Frank Jackson with the three, and it's a miss. Oh, Frank. I'm sorry he's got, I didn't know you existed. He's got two points and a 0% field goal rating. <laughs> uh -huh. Fucking A. Those are the Fucking stats we a. see. Patton, he's freezing ice out cold there. Freezing ass cold out there. <laughs> Look at Anthony take it up. Carmelo from Syracuse. Syracuse? One of the best players of all time. Is he? In Syracuse history. In Syracuse. And now he plays for the Dolphins. For <laughs> In like third string getting his shit rocked by these guys. <laughs> he is easily one of the best um, shot makers in the NBA history for sure. Really? Oh yeah. Who's he playing oh, for? To... Um, I think he's playing for the Lakers right now. Ah, that's cool. I'm but sorry, he but he was I originally a oh! oh, steal by Ilya Sova. Oh my God! What a block! Turned into the three by Divincenzo. What a game! I'm sorry, yeah, I think that guy's last name is Ojele. Oh yeah, semi Ojele. Ojele? Yeah, he's a buck right now. Yeah? He's terrible. I thought his name looked familiar. Oh he's awful. Oh he must be great, he's on the bucks and they're good. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Yeah, he's a boss. He was a Boston Celtic. I just know that on the Locked On Bucks podcast, they have the people from all the other fucking uh, <laughs> all the other podcasts come in. Oh yeah. And like every single time, they're like, "Oh yeah, the only team that like like the Warriors guy was like the only team that I'm worried about the Warriors playing are the Bucks because everyone else they can take." Yeah, I mean the Bucks. Should beat everybody in the league, but 
Well, generally the Bucks do really well against really good teams, and then for uh -huh. some reason they just can't pull their shit together against mid-range teams. Oh my God, John! Did you see that stat? Which stat? The Bucks. The, the Bucks are thirty-one for forty in the second half. <laughs> that makes sense. Look at Johnson with the dunk. Wesley, Wesley Johnson, another another Syracuse alum. Yeah. Well, it's a regular. He, he, had, he had good two years. Yeah. He's gonna be good in two years. No, oh, I said he had a good two years. Oh. He's gonna be good in two years. <laughs> There's Felton. Coming, Raymond. sneaking down the court. Coming God, backwards. hurry up, dude. <laughs> he was sneaking. He's trying to be quiet so they don't notice him. <laughs> Just go back in your hole. <laughs> Just, I got this. Good job, Lee. Oh, yeah, I was going to post that Hilltoppers, too. The Hilltoppers? Uh-huh. All right. <laughs> All right, Felton is uh, <coughs> doing some Felton stuff. All right, DiVincenzo with the with the bucket. Oh, Felton with the steal. Thrown to Courtney Lee, and Courtney Lee makes a layup. He's got it. <laughs> Man, look at all those snowflakes. <laughs> Literally, four out of five players are ice cold. Not look good. at that. Felton, what are you doing? You don't have to foul that guy for him to miss. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that's, a good, that's a good picture of him. <laughs> well, it's uh, only a 90 point game oh my god it's a 90 point game <laughs> <laughs> Jesus it is not close <laughs> it is it is so such a massacre nightbot left <laughs> so bad, Nightbot's done with us. <laughs> Bye. What the fuck is that mascot? That's Big Red. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> See <ya. laughs> You bastard. Oh, it looks like Ojale is pretty cold out there now, too. Of course he is. Thornwell's the only one who isn't ice cold. You know what? You know what? He has one of the best names of all time. Ojale? No. Oh. Thornwell. Norwell? Yeah, Thornwell. Oh. Does he? Yeah, What's his name? Cinderius. Cinderius Thornwell? Yes. He sounds like a rich white man. <laughs> Doesn't it, though? <laughs> What's your name? Cinderius Thornwall. <laughs> yeah, he was actually really good at South Carolina. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Man, and Trier is, is just so blocked in there. Just can't do shit. <laughs> He's Passes probably just saying to himself, I just want to get out of here. I just want to go home to my, like, beach house. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, dude. <laughs> I hope there isn't a, a earthquake so there isn't a tsunami. Hope there isn't a volcanic eruption. And, One. uh... Ursan's just gonna hold it and end the game. <laughs> and, uh. 
Yeah. That's the Bucks winning 90 <laughs> by 93 points. I'm sure y'all wanted to see that. <laughs> I was talking about ABA half of the time. Oh, I'm sorry. When the team's down by 40 at halftime, like... <laughs> Oh, look at him go. Ah, <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> uh, and look at that. Let's take a look at this uh, team comparison for yeah. a bit. Let's see. Um, the, the biggest lead is the one they've got right now at the end of the game at 93 points. <laughs> <laughs> is that all? Uh. They somehow pulled that off while only shooting 63% uh, for the, from the field goal and 50% from three-point range. But I guess it works out a lot better than the 23% and 28% that uh, the Dolphins were shooting. Right. 100 for 100, or 11 for 11 at 100% for free throws for the Bucks, And the Dolphins couldn't manage that. So, you know... <laughs> Right. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Bucks got a bunch more team fouls. DJ Wilson almost fouled out. That was a thing. Uh, yeah. I don't know how. The 15 dunks to one. The Dolphins just don't have size on their side. I think. Right. I think that's a thing that we noticed a lot in this game was just a lack of size. Right. And 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 really, I mean, especially in this game, it's a lack of bodies. Yeah. I mean, they were. I mean, it was the same. I mean, we didn't, Same guys. We didn't see them put in, like, we didn't see them put in second stringers until the end of the third quarter. Right. Like, they they weren't putting people in. And, uh, like, I, yeah, like, their first string didn't even play the, uh, the fourth quarter. In the second yeah, half. Yeah, I mean, it's, right. We so we didn't get to see Aaron Holiday <clears throat> beat out his uh his get his usual uh thirty five points a game for the last five games. So okay. uh that's gonna drop his right. average a little bit. Right. right. Let's see. DiVincenzo coming in at twenty eight points on the night. What the fuck? Beast. It's beast what a, and... what a second stringer. He's still playing for the Bucks in real life though. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we got Giannis, and then Smith with 15. Smith was shooting seven for ten, which is not Ooh, bad. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. And Giannis, uh, he was pulling eight for 15. He should improve that. He's better than that. <laughs> should. Totally should. Uh. Let's see, Ilyasova. He did pretty well. Not as well as uh, in the last game, but, you know. But he was 6 for 13, and then 0 for 1 on threes. Should have pulled that shit together a little bit more. Totally should have. DJ Wilson with his four fouls, not playing half the game. What the fuck? Nope. Freaking bum. Actually, never mind. Yeah, he didn't play the fourth quarter. Malcolm Brogdon didn't play in the second quarter for some reason. Well, what the hell's up with that, eh? I think they just were like, no, you suck. Stop. <laughs> yeah, because he, he was 1 for 5 and 0 for 3 in the first quarter, so he didn't play the second quarter. <laughs> right. Like, he could not hit shots. And then he did a little bit better in the in the third quarter when he played. He finished out that half with a three and four and one and two. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he, ended, he ended with nine points. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it ain't bad. It's not terrible. It's not no. the worst I've seen, but I've also seen him score like twenty-seven points in a game. So. Oh well, sure, sure. <laughs> Timothy Mozgov doing some solid defensive work with the seven rebounds and shit. What did we see right. with uh, Smith on that? Yeah, 13 rebounds, one steal, three blocks. 
Nice. Yeah. He is a defensive animal. Let's see. Wesley Johnson. Uh, Wesley Johnson and Courtney Lee not having the games I wanted to see them have because, like, the last game we saw them play earlier tonight, uh, they were in the top five scores. <laughs> right. <clears throat> and they only played in the fourth quarter. They just dominated all up and down the court in that last game. So that inconsistency is probably why they're a little bit lower down right. there. Right, right. I would have liked to see more of the Dolphins, just in general. <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah, I mean, we only seen a select few. Um, we're seeing quite a few, like uh, Deontay Davis playing for 30 minutes and not scoring anything. Right. Only getting three assists Nothing. and a rebound. Look at look at his his plus minus. It's negative forty seven. That is not good. <laughs> that that seems really bad. That is very bad. Look at all these negatives. All of everyone's a negative. Is that bad? That must be bad, right? That is not good. <laughs> you do not want to be in the negative there. <laughs> no. I don't think they have a single positive player on their team. No, all of them are just like, nah, we're good. It's fine. <laughs> right. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> you know, I, I did think that that would be, that game would be a little more, I guess. Right. right. More, uh, I, well, no, you called it right away. When oh, you yeah. Were like, yeah. Oh, yeah, we skipped through the Heat game. Uh. Yeah, that's – let's see the box score for uh, Pelicans at Heat. Drogic. Dra Dra Dragic. Dragic? Yeah, Goran Dragic. <laughs> yeah. He ended up with 29 points. Zion Williamson with the 28. Anthony Davis with 26. Christian Wood with 20. DeAndre Jordan with 15. And Kobe Simmons with 10. And Thanasis was nice. in there too. Yeah, look at that. Ending at 135 to 82. Ooh. That would have been a much better game to watch, huh? <laughs> I think so. Uh, well. Oh, we really wanted to see that court, though. Yeah, that's that's really what it is. <laughs> right. Hang on. Well, uh, the Pelicans are going to be playing the King Crabs who are Ooh. actually pretty high ranked and that'll be the next expansion team. Yeah. Yeah. Who do the Bucks play next? The next That's expansion expansion been... team? Um Oh, the Barons. Oh, all right. Not one that we created. Right, right. Or that I created, but you know, it's a team. <laughs> right. Let's see what it said. Look at that. Dante DiVincenzo was a force of nature on the offensive <laughs> end tonight. Nice. On a career-high 28 points. Look at that. Perfect. Man. <laughs> Aaron Holiday and DeAndre Hunter have been named Players of the Week as of December 1st. <laughs> nice. I mean, they did. He did score 29 points in the game, despite right. despite all odds, still scored over half of the points that the Dolphins scored in the game. I mean, there's something about there's something there, right? Like, right. <laughs> he's great, and you know who I didn't see in there too much? Who's that? Byron O'Neill. <laughs> Right. Who's a demon, and he only scored... He got 10 rebounds, so... Right. I guess he pulled some shit together defensively, but... Sure. Not as much as you would expect from a player that's supposed to be that good. Right. But, you know... Let's see what else they had to say. Ooh, Mason put up 33 points against, uh... Against the Thunder. Nice. It's their 10th straight win. The Anchorage King Crabs 
dominating ever since uh, Bull Bull and Abe Mason just, like, powered up. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, I mean, look, right there. 14-7. and seven. Right. Their team is okay, but, like, the souped-up Bull Bull and Abe Mason, who's not a real person, it's just Zion uh-huh. Williamson with a different name. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> and we know this because I tried to change... Abe Mason's height, and it changed Zion Williamson's height, too. <laughs> right. <laughs> so that's a thing I'm going to have to remember happens in the future. And Devontae Graham, with a, who I think is a Pelican. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's a Pelican. Okay. Right? Yes. Yep. Yeah. And Gordon is there a uh, main point guard now? <laughs> yeah, he's all we got. Yep. He's pretty good. He didn't play yep. in that 76ers game. Yeah, I like him. Uh, yeah, he's not bad at all. No, he's he's good. Always a solid dude. Yeah. But yeah, him and Alvarado, like, you can watch them go nuts. This is the team that just ran rampant on the Bucks, though, is the surf. This team right here. Of Ja Morant, so, Justin Holiday, and Chris Middleton. They ran yep. all over the Bucks. They were just it was like yeah. They they were fell a little short with the bigger guys, but it was just that speed that got them. And we right. saw we saw especially uh in especially in that game against the Pelicans, how well that Bucks team stacks up against speed and it does right. Doesn't. It crumbles. Because, <laughs> like we were seeing, they weren't even getting a, all the they weren't even getting all of their players across the court in time. Right. <laughs> yeah, I mean it wasn't even close. Yeah. But let's uh take a look at how. Oh wow, the Bucks broke their winning streak. That's kind of sad. But look at those last, like, five games that we're looking at. Nice. Like, look at Aaron Holiday running 43 points against the Heat. Nice. But they are not stacking up to the other expansion teams, and I think that says a lot. Right. Like, it's like with the surf, I guess they uh, they lost to the Dolphins, but... They also beat the Dolphins before that. Look at the scores. <laughs> <laughs> it's Aaron yeah, Holiday. pretty damn good. Aaron Holiday still coming out the top scorer against him. But you're seeing, like, when these teams smash against each other, their defenses just tear each other to shreds. Right. Because, <clears throat> like, look, here they go against the Lakers and beat him 121 to 73 and going against the king crabs and it's 77 to 76 nice although the lakers are not doing super well let me see all right they're a little behind but right now in these last power rankings we're seeing the anchorage in fourth right and I, That's pretty damn good. And I don't necessarily think it's incorrect. Right. Because, like, they put up decent points. And I know they only have two demons, but the demons they have are good. Yeah. Like, they're they're scary demons. Yeah. Scary yep, nightmare born. demons. Abe. Yeah. Yep. And we can see... We see that 2K still has the Lakers in fourth, even though they're 10 and 8, which is <laughs> fucking insane. Right. Maybe they know something I don't know, or that right. everyone else doesn't know with their eyes. But, like, it seems like there's an awful lot of favoritism with that, especially with Oklahoma <laughs> yeah. City not really doing that well when they stack up against a lot of these other teams. Right. right. And. Like, we can even look here at, like, yes, they have Russell Westbrook. They have Paul George. They've got uh, their Jeremy Grants. But 
we're not seeing them stack up properly against teams like this. And we saw that when, like, in the scheduled game against them, where, yeah, they're good teams. They went against each other. Their defenses canceled each other out a lot. They still came out on top. Right. They're good. Yeah. And here, Eric Bonish. Bonish? Something like that. Eric says they're Bonish. a third. <laughs> He's saying he thinks they, he could see him going all the way. Look at that. Is Joel Embiid on the... Uh, is Joel Embiid on... On the 76ers, right? Yeah. In this game? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there he is right there. Huh. And Kevin Durant and everything. Wow. That's a stacked roster. That is a stacked roster. Holy fuck. Ah, damn. Did they have Ben Simmons this whole time? And Kevin Durant? Yeah. Those are just naturally there? I mean, Kevin Durant's a, a net, but... Well, right now he is, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. But he was... I mean, in this game, does he start that way? No, probably at this time he was probably a Golden State Warrior. Oh, shit, that's right. There were a couple of players that just, like, didn't go... Decided not to go back in the off season. Right. And it was, like, big players, so it turned into, like, everyone was fist fighting over a handful right. of, like, really right. good players. Right. And and it it was really weird. I'd never seen a season like that. But, uh... I don't remember who ended up getting them, but I think there's a demon here on the Timberwolves now. Yeah, Chizo. And that's why we've been seeing them, like... Right. right. We've been seeing them play a little bit better than they were. And he's a bigger dude, too, so... Oh, he's fucking huge. Uh, that dude's 7'2", I think. That helps out uh, Carl Anthony, so... Yeah. I want to say he's 7'2". Huge yeah, dude. Yeah, 7'1". Like, look at that. <laughs> huge dude. Yeah, he's fucking huge. But, yeah. Uh... Still going to go through, still going to make some new characters. Probably going to just upgrade some characters who are free agents at the moment, too. Just keep injecting overpowered characters into the My League one at a time throughout the season and see where we end up. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, we've already... We've already fucked up the Atlanta Hawks really bad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was in the previous game, though. Yeah. Well, no, I I mean, like, they're just... The <laughs> the Hawks, uh, they, they just, like, can't compete anymore because so many uh, of the demons have gone into the top... into teams that are now, like, pushing into the top ten. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't think they have one, and that's one of the reasons I think they've... I think they might have been losing games, too. Yeah, they, they had a five-game losing streak. Right. Where it was just like... And against teams like the Kings and shit. And yeah, the but Kings, that shouldn't even be possible. Yeah, but the Kings have Chuck Ellis Jr. now. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> The, oh, never mind then. The seven seven three hundred and fifty pound. <laughs> wow. Shooting guard. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> oh. He's huge. He's putting up fifteen point seven points per game. That's a lot. <laughs> and he's got a bitchin' mustache too. Sweet mustache. They've got him playing point guard? Wait, is he a point guard? Oh. A... <laughs> Chuck Ellis Jr. is a point guard. Oh my god, John. Uh, I fucked that up. Oh well, what it's have fine. You, what have you done? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. 
he doesn't score as heavily as I'd expect, but, you know, he's also there with De'Aaron Fox. Uh, they're playing him at, it looks like, uh, at shooting guard, so. <laughs> Which, yeah, he's also, he's also a shooting guard. <laughs> Where did those other players go? Let's see. I don't know. Um, let's see. Where's uh? Where are some other demons? I mean, I know, like this team has just got three of them: John Morant, Justin Holiday, and them. Uh, Patrick Mills and DeAndre Hunter. There's Aaron oh, yeah. Baines. Aaron Baines, the bald man. <laughs> yep. Oh man, who are what a team are we looking at? Washington. Washington's not great, are they? No, Wizards are not. Good. Like John Wall's good, but like, eh. <clears throat> and the Bulls, they got not much, really. Sorry, Bulls much fans. At all. Kelly Oubre and Metu, like they couldn't pull it off this time. Oh, the C- Cleveland Cavaliers, they've got Yuta Watanabe. Who's <laughs> 99 Watanabe. overall now. He's averaging 14 points per game. <laughs> huh. <clears throat> um. But yeah, over time, I'll just put more and more of these guys in, and uh, oh yeah, we'll see what happens. Hell yeah, yeah. It's just uh, look at this. We've got the the Celtics, the Magic, the Nets, and the Hornets all at the bottom here. <laughs> Oof. So the Heat is the Heat and the Knicks should also be down here. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I'm gonna go to go to Eric. I think he might he has his finger a little bit more on the pulse. He's okay. saying that the Heat and the Knicks are going to come back, so maybe they will. Maybe they will. Maybe. Well, they probably no. Well, Miami went up to so. Well, did Miami it... get like a? No. They didn't get a. They didn't get a demon. Good. Well, I just kind of... I put them into the free agency and just see whoever grabs them. Right, right, right. (laughs) I ain't Charlotte. Jesus Christ, guys. Wow. That is so bad. Mm. To be 1 in 20. That's like Pelicans bad, guys. That is very... Very bad. <laughs> That's like Clippers. almost losing to a college bad. Wait, how are the Clippers this bad? Wait, never mind. I'm. You know what? It should trade for Bobby Portis. <laughs> Hell yeah. And the the Clippers are really bad too, or the Cavs are pretty bad too, but. They just got you to Watanabe, so yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Like, I wonder what their schedule's been looking like. Uh, all right, <laughs> it's not great. <laughs> all, right. all right, this isn't good. Um, I've been losing. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> Sometimes one player can't help. Sorry. Right. All right. Well, I think we're done for tonight. Yeah. We thanks are, for everybody uh, for um, for joining us. Yeah. Thanks, guys. It's yeah. been. Uh, and we're thinking about probably doing this on Saturday night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll do this. We'll have a schedule pre all Saturday night. Um, yep. Figure out a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, what we're going to be doing. Good night, Sino. Yep. Good night, Sino. Take anyway, care, we've bud. we got a lot of games to play. We do. And 
sometimes I just watch them, honestly. I, it, they're, want, they want me to play like 82 every season. <laughs> <laughs> it's not possible. Hey, look, the Sharks are, the Pelicans are going to be at the Sharks Stadium. Ooh. So, here we'll have the Pelicans at the King Crabs. Nice. Pelicans at the at the Sharks. Oh, and then against Vancouver, the Ravens. Oh, nice. Yeah. It would be nice to see the court. Yeah. Well, the Ravens are going to be at the Pelicans, but we'll be able to see the oh, Sharks. okay. The Sharks, and uh, the next one we do will probably be, uh, it'll be Anchorage, I think. Okay. Because, wait, what day is Anchorage is on the 22nd. And that one's on the 8th. Oh, man. So in the same stream, we could do uh, the Pelicans Pelicans at uh, at the Sharks and then the Barons at the Bucks. Look at that. Nice. Yeah. That's just a fun time. Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to be sticking around doing this a little bit um, right a new thing that we're trying on the channel it was seemed popular last time we did it and it was pretty popular this time so yeah you know yeah thanks for everybody yeah so how the games were a little closer but yeah it's yeah. fun to check out I mean we're we're working on it <laughs> yeah yep yep yeah but thanks everybody um, yep. let's go <laughs> and find someone to raid Heck yeah? Yeah. Let's see who's... Let's see who's, uh... Doing... Some... Stuff. Alright. How do I get to here? <laughs> um... Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Let's see. Um. We've got Lizzie Anthus or Sarah. Who's I don't know, John. Dead by Daylight or Ark Survival Evolved? Let's see. Um, let's do Sarah. We'll jump in and raid them. All right. But thank you guys for joining us today. It's been yeah. Thanks everybody. A real fun time. We've uh, got the wall and everything, so there's that. And uh, thank you guys for joining us. Have yeah. A thanks good everybody. One. Bye bye. Have a good night. Yep. Get vaccinated. Bye. Oh, that was fun. Yeah. All right. And for all the YouTube people, thanks for joining us. And uh, have a good one. Goodbye.